Hey what's going on guys, it's Moon here and today I've got a video again from FIFA 13 demo gameplay for you. That's more of a background to what I'm going to be speaking about. I'm going to be speaking more about the first touch control and how it will impact on the final game of course. As I mentioned in my like, sort of first impressions video, the player impact engine was so much exaggerated in the demo last year and it, it made the demo really poor. The first touch control isn't as bad this year but you can tell it is exaggerated and obviously I think it will be tweaked when the full game comes out. Well it should be tweaked anyway because I don't think it's right just now. But again I think it's a really good implementation into the game because it will impact pace and that's a whole video in itself but as well it's making you play a bit more football but it's not to the extent where it's like say a real life game you can have a long shot from anywhere and just it can go in you can you can it, it it's real more realistic but not too realistic so it's boring it's going to make you play a lot more football it's going to make people change the way they play of course it's going to make me change the way i play because i was one of those people who always just kept the hand down on the sprint button i think it's r2 for PlayStation, the, the RT maybe for Xbox, I'm not 100% sure, but I was always one of them people, now you have to take it off when you take a pass, and that stops you getting that first push of acceleration, so that will affect pace in its own way, and I think pace is being taken out of the game a bit more as well now, but for some reason in this demo as well, you saw there, the keepers just don't seem to keep hold of the ball, I don't know whether that is Manone, who was in goal for Arsenal there, and he was in goal for my other game when I, when I played as Arsenal, but he's he's not a great keeper in this game anyway, but Buffon as well, I've played a few times then when I played with Juventus, he's, he doesn't seem great, the keepers seem to be a bit dodgy in the game, and hopefully that'll be fixed when the full game comes out but the impact the first touch control i think is a good addition it's really changed the way fifa 13 is going to be played and i think it feels like a bit of a new game now because many people did complain that fifa 11 and fifa 12 were basically exactly the same just with new kits and a bit say updated graphics but otherwise i think it's as I said change the way that everyone plays you see there i had to take my hat finger off the sprint button so i couldn't accelerate away from i think it was the left back to him so it, it just makes the game i think overall better and a bit more fairer as well it'll be about not about who can lob through ball and just pace with say bond the of course it, I think that's still going to be slightly in the game. I think you can't take pace out altogether. Pace is still going to be an influential factor, but it's not going to be as influential as it was in FIFA 12. That's just my opinion. It may go the complete opposite way, but what I'm finding from the demo and what I've heard people talking about at EA and on, I say other YouTubers who've actually actually played the demo, like I think when they went to Gamescom or something like that, they, 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 they say pretty much the same thing, and that's what I'm hoping it'll be like as... I, I started at the end of FIFA 12 to change, or I have started at the end of FIFA 12 to change the way I've played, to try and get a better technique for FIFA 13. And I think maybe try and pass it a bit more, try and take your hand off the sprint, but I know it's FIFA 12, but it may make it a bit used to FIFA 13, of course, play the demo a bit more as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you think you deserved it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.